All right, so I'm going to be talking about if you can really make money playing online poker in 2021 and beyond. Now, you absolutely can, but there are definitely some things that you're going to need to know before you even go on this journey. Now, I've been playing online poker for the last 15 plus years. I'm going to be breaking down some hands while I'm going over this topic here in Ignition Poker. Also, if you guys are looking for good online poker sites to get started with, I'll throw some bonus and sign up links in both the description and comments. Now, the first thing, you know, you need to ask yourself, what are your expectations for playing online poker? So for me personally, I play like three or four times a week and, you know, I keep my sessions between anywhere from like an hour to an hour and a half. And the reason behind that is, you know, when I play shorter span uh, sessions, I see my win rate go up considerably. And the reason for this is because, you know, if you've ever, you know, played poker for maybe like four, six, seven, eight or nine hours straight, you will notice that you start to play bad after a while. You know, you got to give yourself some time to refresh your brain. And, you know, keeping my sessions in shorter time spans has definitely helped me. I will usually like take a break, you know, whether it's going to get some food or, you know, just maybe taking the rest of the day off or coming back maybe a couple hours later. It's just always helped me out. Now, the next thing is you got to ask yourself, what are you trying to accomplish? Um, you know, are you trying to make like an extra thousand bucks a month, an extra two thousand bucks a month, uh, you know, or more than that? The thing you got to understand is you need to be playing limits that are high enough that are going to uh, let you achieve whatever your goal is. Now, you're going to have some days where you're going to lose. I mean, I never win every time I get into a session. I mean, I'm not going to lie. However, you know, the games I play, 1, 2, 2, 5, and 5, 10. So those are $200 games, $500 games, and $1,000 games. So you're going to have to have a bankroll for whatever you're playing. But, you know, if you want to make anything significant, I would say start off at the $200 cash games um, because – you know, it's just going to be a grind to hardly make any money uh, playing anything below that. That's just my opinion. Um, but here we go. Uh, we had an ace deuce on this hand. I thought I played it pretty good. Um, I just called this with the three deuces because I was hoping that player three would make the call so we could see a river card. Um, you know, fortunately, he will make the call here. But this river card was so weird, right? You know, we got two eight do six there was a flush draw out there and to be honest with you i guess i was putting him on a flush draw player three river card was a six which wasn't like the greatest card obviously for us but i wasn't folding this hand no matter what the bet was honestly um you know player six six is going to put in a pretty decent bet here um, not like a huge one, but it was like an insta call for me almost because, you know, like I said, there was no way I was folding this one. So he bet 34 at it. You know, I immediately called. And player three, I believe, is going to end up folding this one. Yeah, he did. Uh, and we took that one down. So slow playing those deuces definitely worked out in our favor right there. Another thing I always talk about is not playing too many tables at once. You know, I like to keep it at uh, two table maximum. Because, you know, if you're playing higher state games, you don't have to be playing, you know, four or six tables at a time to see more hands per hour. You know, the thing about, uh, you know, getting better at, you know, online poker, just poker in general is you got to get good at bluffing, right? So, you know, there are going to be times where you're playing hands against other people and you're going to need to put them on a range of what they might have and you're going to have to make moves on them, you know, to either get them to call you or, you know, fold based on how you're playing the hand. So, you know, two tables at a, t at a maximum is definitely the best. When you start playing more than that, it's really hard to concentrate on those hands and then you're just not going to pick up on those little tells that you might have otherwise, you know, figured out if you were focusing a little bit more. Anyways, pocket sevens, next hand right here. Um, you know, this was kind of a throwaway hand. We didn't really get anything that we needed, unfortunately. So I was just kind of, you know, ready to fold it. And making good folds is also really important. There's There was no reason for me to make that call with sevens you know there was the you know two flush draws out there an eight a ten a bunch of straight draws pocket sevens i mean you know that was just an obvious fold really no reason to get involved with this one player one went all in wonder if he gets called here i'm curious if he did
player five was thinking about it. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot more to make the call. Oh, yeah, he hit that flush. Oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> that was terrible right there. I think maybe that other guy had uh, the 10, which would have made sense. Maybe like a king 10 or a whatever, like a queen. I have no idea, but that was just a sick, sick river card. And, you know, it is what it is. All right, anyways, I opened up uh, six bucks here on the Ace Jack offsuit. Player four made the call. Now we had a re-raise to 26 bucks. Um, you know, if I was suited on this hand, I probably would have made the call, but I decided just to kind of give this one up because, you know, I mean, it felt like the right thing to do. Oh yeah, especially with the re-raise right after that. Kind of a no-brainer. But I was always, I was always folding on that 26. Player six was really tanking this one. I mean, he did re-raise it. Okay, I guess he didn't have a whole lot right there and, uh, you know, gave it up, and that hand was uh, over pretty quick. Okay, weirdly enough, we've got another ace-jack, and I am going to see a, uh, a flop with this one, and this is going to be the final hand for this session, guys. Um, and, you know, like I was saying, you can definitely make money playing online poker, you know, right now in 2021 and beyond. But you got to ask yourself what you want to get out of it. Also, I would say that I would not get involved so much if you don't actually have like a love and passion, you know, for uh, for poker in general. You know what I mean? Because this is a really competitive game and everyone's always trying to, you know, beat the other person, outplay the other person, whatever you want to call it. So, I mean, you always got to be trying to improve every time you get into a poker session. Okay, so this was a little bit of a smaller re-raise, 20 bucks. So this was kind of like an easy call. You know, this guy could have been popping the pot with just about anything. Now, we did pair the jack. There were, um, you know, uh, there was a flush draw out there. Plus, if this guy is repping like ace-king or ace-queen, he's going to be trying to hit some turn cards and river cards. But I thought this was a pretty safe flop for what I had, so I wasn't, you know, going anywhere, just hoping to see maybe a low turn card, like a three or something. Okay, a six was good too. Now, there were two flush draws out there, and to be honest with you, not really scared about the flush draws, really putting this guy on maybe like an ace-king or ace-queen, something like that. So not going anywhere. $47 bet on the turn was super strange. I I mean, I don't know what the guy was trying to say he had. I mean, he, he was trying to make it look like he had a set, I guess, like a set of 10s maybe. Um, River card was interesting. I basically had to insta-call this guy down, and he had a pair of 10s. So we took down a sick hand right there. My poker instincts kind of went off, and, you know, one of the reasons I was able to make that call was because I was focusing on what I was doing. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed another poker session here. Like I said, if you're looking for good online poker sites to get started with, we'll have some bonus and sign-up links uh, in both the description and comments. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you in the next poker video.